Okay, so um, before I start this tutorial, I have a disclaimer. Um, firstly, um, I apologise to the viewers and to uh, Sam Biddle for the wearing of the Pooh Brown gloves. Now, unfortunately, due to being seriously man flued up for a week and absolutely knackered from moving my academy, my hands look like a dog has chewed them um, and I have no black gloves. So I am protecting um, my hands anyway because I do have a gel allergy from um, improper training when I was first taught uh, nails. Um, so I am going to be wearing my gloves today. Um, so for those that are offended by my poo brown gloves, um, there's really nothing I can do today. So, uh, let's crack on, shall we? So today I'm going to be playing with inks. So they're well used in salon. We're going to be having a look at Kirsty McDonough's nail inks. She sent me these as a little gift. Thank you very much, Kirsty. And I've been having a really lovely play with these. So we're going to try those. We're also going to be having a go with Nail Kami's new metallic inks. My personal favourite is red copper. These are so easy to use but look amazing on salon nail very quick. I'm also going to be looking at this ink from Smiley's Glitter Store and I'm going to be using this for one of my nails and also one here from I think it's Saida, uh, Saida um, and this is really pigmented, these are the first ones I had so we're going to be trying those as well, I think they were from Petra Jakes and a little bit more expensive than the others So I'm going to start off with this, this is Bubblegum Pink by Halo and I'm going to use some French white gel polish and what I'm going to do is just very haphazardly so I don't know if you remember the smoke nail trend that kind of came to fruition not too long ago um, I'm going to be putting some smoky effect on top of the pink And then I'm going to also use Hologram from Halo. This is one of their gel polishes and it's an iridescent, almost peachy, gold, iridescent glitter. Um, it looks amazing over quite a number of things actually. Um, I love it over a, a nude. Just use the Hologram to bleed out the white and smudge it out a bit. So once that's cured, you'll see it's got almost a cloudy effect and those white areas, they're going to be the areas that show differently through the ink. So it's going to give it a little bit more texture and a little bit more flow rather than just popping the ink on. We're going to be able to get different tones of the ink from just using the, the one colour. So I'm going to start out with this pink, this is the Saida pink that again I think like I say I got from Petra Jakes. Now what I found with this is it is super, super concentrated. It's a really, really dark pigment. Um, in fact I will, I'll go as far as saying it is the most pigmented ink that I've ever used. It is amazing. So just keep adding these haphazard pink ready to blend out. So when dispersing your marble, you should only really be touching the sides. So I'm going to use a little bit of dispersing liquid. Just touching the edges of that. Once that's fully dry, I'm now going in with Kirsty's number 10. Which is almost a ultraviolet purple. It's, uh, it's really cool. And I'm just going to touch that in areas over the top. You can be quite random with this um, and just fill in little gaps. Just touch to the nail and then disperse. Using the pink metallic inks from Nail Kami. And what I'm going to do is just follow a few patches 
in the marble where I feel that a little bit of metallic will be cool. Now I'm not going to disperse this. Again, I've played with the metallic inks quite a bit and I like the way they look without dispersing them personally. Bear in mind they do look different when the top coat goes on and we're also just going to just dab the outer edges of this. So just a little tiny bit, nothing major. Any areas that you... The areas of the marble I'm just kind of blending a little bit more. So now that's dry, what I want to do is add some foil veins to it. But in order to do that, obviously foil sticks to anything that's sticky and this is slightly sticky. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to just top coat with a no wipe top. Today I'm going to use the Crystal Nails Pro Foil Gel in clear. So you are going to struggle seeing me put this on, but what I am doing is I am following, I'm hoping you can kind of see that going on. I'm following some of the pattern with my clear foil gel. So because now the raised areas of the foil gel is gonna be the only place where this foil sticks, so make sure you remove the resin off the back of your foil, the transport resin, we, otherwise it, it won't come off properly so you can see. And then we're just going to finish that with a top coat and that's that one done. So I'm going to use one of the inks again for this second nail. Now I discovered to do this not so long ago on a client and I found with the nail can be red copper metallic ink, you don't have to disperse it. And when you layer it on top of a, a blood red or a black or a navy, it looks like rust. It is the most amazing colour of tones of colour so I've got two coats of blood red halo and what I'm going to do is down one side kind of three quarters of the way over I'm just gonna touch my you can see already what's happening I'm just gonna touch the brush to the nail and see that what's happening there as it dries it makes the most amazing rusty wonderful pattern so now I'm just going to grab some little shards of gold leaf obviously remember when you're doing this not to touch the top of the nail with your bare finger again over time it could end up causing you a contact allergy so work cleanly and remember if you're doing something like that to protect yourself and obviously your client so i've popped some little shreds there of gold leaf on and now using my black gel polish, I'm going to very carefully paint a panel down the side covering just a third of the nail and I'll cure and repeat if necessary. I'm then going to use my long elise brush and some lovely gold gel paint from Nail Artists and paint two very steady, very straight lines as a little accent just to finish off that nail. A longer brush is easier for longer lines. I'm now going to just do a thin, no wipe shine top coat over the entire nail. Again, a very thin layer. And then I'm going over with a very thin layer of matte top coat just on the red area. This will make it multi-textural. And there you go, matted metallic. So we're gonna start, this is nude by Halo again, so two coats of nude on the base there. And this time I'm going to use Smiley's Glitter Store, .co.uk I think is their web address, and I'm gonna use their Topaz ink. Now Smiley's ink is, again, the same as 
Kirsty's needs to be dispersed a little. But what I like to do is, can you see, once you've done it and it's dried, go back over. And it puts the dark patches on there. You don't have to disperse the centre of this, but I am just going to soften the edges with my dispersing liquid or acetone. And then I am going to use the red copper nail comate again because I like the I like the orange that, that it gives off. So I'm just going to touch it in places. Now the only difference this time, because I don't want those lines, is I am going to disperse. Once that's dry, I'm going to take my Ellie brush and I'm going to pop some black veins through it and again like on the previous ones follow the pattern keep your hand really light hardly any pressure on your brush at this point so once you've got it to that stage i'm then going to get the halo hologram again and just on areas next to the veins i'm going to just place the hologram this will add a shiny highlight to the veins and make them pop a little more. So when that's cured, I'm going to do a little ombre around the side. Now you can use one of the ombre sponges. I love the ombre sponges. But I think when you're doing an ombre all the way around, you're going to have to be really, really careful that you don't get it onto your client's finger. And with an ombre sponge, you haven't got that much control. So I'm just going to use a, my tweezers with a little tiny bit of makeup sponge in. So I'm going to dip it in my black and I'm going to, I'm just going to bring my tray in shot so you can see. So I get my black, but then I work the black off it. I don't want it thick. Keep um, flash curing and building up. So you're going to try and build up that shadow around it. So keep popping it in the lamp, flash curing for 10 seconds, popping it back out, reloading your sponge and going again until you get as dark as you want to go. You're just trying to make a nice, I think it's called a vignette, is it? A vignette, I have no idea. And just to finish off, I'm going to use my long brush and just border right the way around. So what this does essentially is frames the nail, frames your art and makes more of a picture of it. You can top coat, you can either matte or gloss, just because I love a matte, I'm gonna matte this one. Nice and thin, we don't wanna be adding extra bulk to our client's nails. So there we are, there's three different ways with inks. I hope you enjoyed it, and here's all the products that I've used and where to get them from, and uh, happy marbling. <laughs>